say they calling from YouTube, they say they miss me. Well, well, well. Yacht. I hate when people like block my block my my side. Come on, Mr. Speeder. Thank you. I need to chill, seriously. Um hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm so happy that you made it here because I see that I got so many new supporters. Hi. And if you're not new, welcome back. Let me park the car, y'all. Let me park the car. I just ordered me a six-piece mild with lemon pepper sprinkles. Give me that shrimp fried rice, no onions, my nigga. Are you, what you doing? You coming out? You coming out? Okay, you coming out? You coming out? You coming out. Okay, we can do you. Let me um turn a little air on really quick. My lashes look so good, and can, will y'all believe that I did my own lashes? Like I, li I did my own lashes, my own. These are my own mink lashes that I did. I'm gonna make a video showing y'all how I did my lashes, and I love these lashes so much. I'm gonna give y'all the details later in another video. But yeah, I'm no longer paying three hundred dollars. I'm no longer paying. How much is a full set? I was paying close to $200 for a full set and $170 for a fill-in. I'm not doing that no more. I'm about to be doing my own lashes all the time. These lashes last about a good week and a half, but I'm only going to like keep them on for a week and take them off. And I got some really good gel eyelash glue to take them off. Like I'm going to just do that. I'm not getting my lashes done no more because this literally cost me $12, $15 max. Anyway... Before we get into this video, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button because if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you doing? Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I post a video. And at any time in this video you are enjoying my vibe, make sure you thumbs it up and like it. But y'all, where should I start? Y'all see I had to take a mental break, right? I even left a post for y'all to let y'all know where your girl been. Because I knew I wasn't about to be posting. I had to get my mind right. I had to get my emotions intact. I had to get my spiritual spirituality back on point. I kind of been going through it. So I guess I'm going to just start here where I lost my piece of sanity at. Was on the girls trip, right? I'm just jumping straight into it. On the girls trip, it was a nice girls trip. Had a good time. However, there are things that I know now that I wouldn't do again. I'm a person that have to learn from experience. So just to give you guys a little rundown, what kind of made me lose my piece of peace and sanity was on the girl's trip, I had did a live where I was drinking, got in the jacuzzi and all of that. Y'all, for some reason, I guess I must have been drinking so much that I don't even remember getting out of the jacuzzi. But for some reason, I remember taking off the swimsuit and the shirt I had on. I can't remember getting out the jacuzzi, but I remember putting on a white shirt and that was it that was it that's all that's as far as my memory can go um some things happen i'm really not gonna speak on because at the end of the day i was drinking so much that i don't remember to the point where i can't really say because at that point i'll just be assuming and blaming things when i can only blame myself because it was my fault that i even got that lit so for number one drinking always puts me in a very weird space because i used to drink a lot when i was a dancer and i hated it so much and i told myself like i'm only gonna drink on special occasions but when i do drink i'm just not gonna overdo it but i'm a real fun girl so once i start there's no stopping like i have to keep going until i reach the level of litness that i want to be and that's just what it is and i came to acceptance with that that i'm just not mature enough to have one or two drinks yet i'm just not there yet so i always have to make sure whenever i am drinking or whatever i have to be around 
people that I know and it has to be a safe environment for me because I just know I haven't reached that maturity level of stopping when I know I need to stop but I don't have a problem or nothing like that I know I'm just speaking crazy but I don't have a problem y'all see I don't drink at home I'm not like an everyday drinker I just socially drink when I'm out with the girls having a good time or whatever I'm doing so that always puts me in a weird space for number one and then even getting that lit really made me feel disappointed in myself because it's like girl you knew you should have stopped so i had a real bad hangover that hunk hangover ended up lasting for six days day number three I, when i had stopped posting on youtube day number three i realized this is not no hangover i hit my head when i was drunk i hit my head real bad in the back back here and it still hurt i realized i was like it's no way this, this can be a hangover Oh, that scared me. <laughs> um, because I done got real, 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 real lit like that before a couple of times, blacked out and everything. And my hangover only lasted a day. So I'm just assuming that when I was really, really lit, I had to have hit my head. But I don't remember getting out the jacuzzi. Like, I don't remember a lot. So I feel like it's a possibility I hit my head. And I had really bad headaches for... Y'all, I still get these headaches. It's crazy. I was getting dizzy. These headaches kept coming very consistently. I ended up having to go to the doctor. I had called. They told me to go to the emergency or the, um, it's something, urgent care to do x-rays. Cause they was like, if you go to your regular doctor, they're not going to really give you x-rays. But if I was to go to the urgent care, that's like an hour away from my house. I was like, F that. I'm just going to go to my regular doctor. So I ended up taking off work to go to my regular doctor, which I should have just listened. They did not do an x-ray on my head. He just did a physical test. He prescribed me 800 ibuprofen and I did blood work. Like, um, I did blood work. Cause he would, he asked me, he was like, do you want to see if you had anything else because i did tell him like i was smoking yeah i was and i know some of y'all probably like girl you told the doctor that yeah i told the doctor that because i wanted to know because i don't smoke y'all i really don't i'm not a smoker no more so we in a whole different state i'm smoking weed didn't even see who rolled up what and i'm over here smoking so i wanted to see like was there anything else in there because i just really can't remember so I ended up doing blood work, all of that. The test came back. I was not laced or anything. Not blaming nobody, not trying to say anybody laced me. I'm just saying I'm not a smoker, but y'all saw me smoking and I was drinking. So I just wanted to know, I wanted to be sure. I wanted to be careful. My head was hurting, I was getting dizzy. Like it was just an abnormal hangover. So I just wanted to be 100% sure and careful. But nothing was in my system besides marijuana. And yeah, that was just that. But that just put me in a really like negative space because I was just like really disappointed in myself. Like, girl, come on now. Like, you're a mom now. Even though my son wasn't around, it's the fact that like you're a mom now. You really got to control yourself. And then I'll be trying not to be so hard on myself because I don't do this all the time. So it's like, relax. You only did it one time. It's not like you do it every day. It's not like you do it every week. You was with the girls having fun, like relax, just chill out, you know? And then I had talked to my baby dad and he kind of made it a little worse too. He was like, you got to tighten up. Da -da 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 -da. So it kind of made me feel like, I, I don't know y'all, drinking, having a hangover, my head hurt, going to the doctor, all of that kind of put me in a weird space with myself. And I started really being hard on myself and I didn't like that. And another thing is, I had set myself a budget of how much I was gonna spend on this girl's trip. I ended up spending more than my budget. I'm the type of person, if I'm spending unnecessary money, I go into a straight depression because what am I doing? Why am I spending all of this money? I make good money. However, no matter how much money I make, no matter how much money I got, no matter, none of that matters to me. I hate spending unnecessary money because I always look at it like, dang, I could have spent that money on this. I could have spent that money on that. If I'm out here spending money recklessly, I could have been to getting another tattoo across my forehead. Like, I hate spending unnecessary money. It really, oh, I do. It makes me so sad and miserable because why am I out here splurging like that and it's not even like worth it and it's not it's not okay so that really put me in a bad space 
because I spend so much unnecessary money and I hate doing stuff like that. I'm very, I can't even say I'm very responsible with my money because I just did something very irresponsible. So that, that put me in a weird place and I was just like, you know what? I just need a break. I just need a break, break, break. But let me run in here and get my wings y'all before they give it to somebody else and I'm gonna come back and tell y'all like, you know, what else? All right. I'm gonna eat right here a little bit. But yeah, y'all, like, it's crazy. And then it was just like so many things on top of things like me and my baby dad, we in this weird, we're in this weird space right now, which I don't really wanna talk about it on this video cause y'all know, y'all know, I'm gonna give y'all that baby mama, baby daddy tea. So I'm not gonna talk about it on this video, but my baby dad me and him most definitely in a weird space right now and i'm just over the bullshit i'm over it like it's about to be a new year there are things that i'm just no longer taking into the new year with me and i might as well start now while i'm in this space because i don't want to go through another phase where i'm taking a break from things that i really love to do like i really love creating content for youtube it's just so much like i really love focusing on myself focusing on my self-care getting things done business this 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 that 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 it's so many things that i really love to do but whenever i get off track or i get into a weird sad space I just kind of shut down and I'm so tired of shutting down because when I really think about it, y'all, I shut down so many times this year. And did I ever ask y'all like, how many times do y'all think a successful person needs to stop, reset and refocus? I'm so tired of stopping, resetting and refocus. I'm over it. So in order for me to stop going through that phase of where I feel like I need to take a step back and breathe and clear my mind, which I know is very normal. It's so normal. However, I'm just tired of going through it. I'm tired of going, feeling that feeling of I'm not doing what I, I know I need to be doing because I don't feel up to par. I'm not feeling my best. I'm tired of that because of the people I'm letting around me, the people I'm letting into my spaces, and not just blaming people because of my decisions that I'm making that's not good for me. The choices I choose that's not good for me, that's not benefiting me, that's not helping me, that's not good for me. So it's just an all around thing that I'm just tired of going through because I wasted, I didn't necessarily waste a week away from y'all because I needed that week to clear my mind, get myself back together and feel good because, and you know, I thought about recording while I was in that weird space, but y'all, when I tell y'all, I felt like I was really down bad and I don't like that. I don't like that for me. I don't like feeling like that. So I don't know. I'm just over the bullshit. So I'm just at a point where it's like, I did a lot of cutting off already, but I think it's time to get back to the drawing board and X out people and X out things that just really no longer serve me good because I can't keep going through this, especially when I know like every time I'm focused on myself, doing right, doing good for me, I'm in a happy space. Everything's just going real good. I noticed that I end up somehow letting something knock me off track and I hate that. I hate that so much because it's like I knew better. Y'all know what NBA young boy say. Intelligent, but make the pause the fish. My life. That that was some real shit right there. Let me show y'all what my food look like. So I had got some mild with lemon pepper sprinkles. They didn't put enough lemon pepper on, on my um, wings, so I'm gonna go home and add my own lemon pepper sprinkles. And um, usually I do fries. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I do fries. Sometimes I do shrimp fried rice, no onions. But today I wanted rice. I just wanted the taste of some type of hibachi. So that's what I got. I'm gonna eat this when I get home. Cause they didn't season it right for me. And I really came to this one because I wanted to go into that beauty supply store. But when I think about it, I'm gonna just go to the real big beauty supply store. Cause I'm supposed to be doing some things this weekend and my hair, is not fully done my hair not done period and i don't want to wash it because i feel like when i let my hair and do what it do it grows better like that so i was gonna go buy some dry shampoo but this beauty supply store don't have no good smell good dry shampoo but y'all want to know who do sephora sephora gave me a sample of this dry shampoo y'all it smell like candy 
I need that. It's only $26. I need that. I'm about to buy it. I should have bought it earlier this week so it could have been came in. But I needed to get some dry shampoo and a beauty blender so I could do my makeup when, when I go out. So y'all make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all can be tuned about. Girl, where you put? What, what? You about to do your makeup and go where? With who? Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, y'all, seriously, on a serious note, because I know I'm kind of all over the place, y'all. I'm just trying to get back in the rhythm of, you know, blogging and things, venting, telling y'all what it is, telling y'all what it's not. But yeah, I'm just like... I, I let me I know the title says what it says but I do want to let y'all know I am okay I am in a very good space now like I needed that week I needed that week off from just I can't really say social media because I still was posting to get my money for my OnlyFans so I still was somewhat active however I would post and get off I needed that week to get my mind right. I needed to kind of find myself again because it's so easy to lose yourself and get caught up in things that really don't matter. So I kind of had to find myself again, find my sanity. Like I had to get back in the rhythm, the flow of how I do things and, you know, get back to the drawing board. I had to write down my affirmations, I had to write down my desires, my needs, my wants, this, that, and the third. I had to write down things to get me back excited about life. I had to get back excited about what I'm doing. You know, I just had to kind of find my way again. And I hate losing my way. So, I'm just done with the bullshit. I'm done with people that I feel are a waste of time. I'm just done with environments that just... I'm over it. It's about to be a new year. This year was full of so many lessons for me, and I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that L. I'm gonna, well, it wasn't necessarily L, but I mean L for a lesson. I'm gonna take that lesson because this year, like, was my real year of motherhood anyway, because you know, I had idols. So just adjusting to motherhood, adjusting to my at home job, adjusting to just everything. So I learned so much this year. I took so much in. I felt like I was making so many decisions without really thinking things through, but now I know, so I'm going to do better. And that's really what it's all about is going through experiences and learning and doing better. But I am okay, y'all. I was just kind of going through some things that had me down and I didn't like that. But now my energy is good. My spirit is great. My soul is amazing. I look beautiful. It's... So I'm good, y'all. I'm really good, but I was going through it. And the thing about having a kid, you know how you don't be wanting to show your kid nothing, no, nothing like you going through shit. So I had to get it right. I had to get get back right good. So the times that I would create content for y'all or I would be editing or focusing on business ventures and all of that, I was really taking that time to myself to get me together. So when I do have Idol in my presence, Idol is my son for everybody that's new. When I got Idol in my presence, he can't see none of that. He'll be able to see it when he get older, when he watch these videos. But as far as when he's in my presence, he's going to see nothing but the strong woman that I am. <laughs> Let me taste one of these wings for y'all. How dare I get some food and don't even taste it for y'all. First of all, it don't have a lot of lemon pepper like I told y'all. Mm -mm -mm. It's good, but no, it's good. It don't taste like the real mouth. It's just like hot sauce. But you know what? I'm going to eat it because I'm hungry. And I pay for it. And one thing about me, I don't waste food. <laughs> but yeah, we back to regular programming. That's good. I'm hungry. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like this lighting better. I felt like that didn't do me no justice over there. Y'all couldn't see this beauty for real. Oh, what? 
but i miss y'all so much happy thanksgiving again i didn't tell y'all happy thanksgiving but happy thanksgiving giving y'all a little entertainment on thanksgiving but i'm gonna go ahead and end out this video y'all see i'm back and y'all know once i'm packed there's no stopping me make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and this like button if y'all enjoyed the video if y'all enjoyed my vibe not necessarily the video because the video was me venting but if y'all enjoyed my vibe my realness make sure y'all thumbs up the video and like it and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video